Welcome back to Better Radio Websites. I'm Jim Sherwood. Did you know that the right post or page title can be the difference between a listener engaging with your station website or skipping right past it? Today, we'll dive into how you can make every post and page title work harder for you. You know, crafting effective post and page titles is crucial to any website looking to engage with an audience and enhance their search engine visibility. I mean, if you think about it, titles serve as clickable headlines in the search engine result pages, or SERPs as they're called, and they significantly influence user engagement and SEO performance. I mean, think of these similar to book titles. If the title is not engaging enough, you might not even, even pick up the book to see what it's all about. So I should interject here. Be sure that you check out the complete list of show notes about this episode on our website in the description below. And when you get there, sign up for our weekly newsletter so you can be always informed of our latest content, our blog post, as well as our podcast episode. So getting back to titles, website post and page titles, they appear in the main headline in the SERPs or search engine result pages, as I mentioned. They also appear in the browser tabs, like at the top and they provide users and search engines with a concise description of your page content. Well-crafted titles are one of the best ways to attract listeners to your news articles, blog posts, events, and contests. You know, in the past, we put a lot of emphasis on doing your keywords within certain places within your post and coming up with the white image and everything like that. So Right now, we're going to just focus on the titles because really, if you think about it, this is probably the most important piece of anything that you post online. So let's talk about some best practices. First, you want to anticipate searchable keywords. Don't think that everybody's always going to come to your station website or click on that post in social media. If you think about it, a lot of folks probably get in that window of, okay, we're going to talk about it on air or they're going to see it in social and that's how they're going to be reading it. Really, you want to guess what the audience may search for and then put that within your article title. If they're going to search, I mean, obviously it's got to be about the the post that you're, you're writing, but you anticipate those keywords because you want your post to be found by whatever you're talking about within search results. And sometimes people are not going to search for the article specifically that you are writing. They may be searching for something else, but if they find your article, that's another opportunity for you to get them to your website and to become a a frequent visitor of your website. And it's going to get you more clicks and impressions on the banner ads that you have there. So again, it's kind of like working the machine to benefit your website. Then you want to, so think about those keywords, and then you want to incorporate those keywords early in the title. Place the main keyword or phrase right at the beginning to immediately convey relevance to both your users and to search engines like uh, artist name drops latest single or drunk driver arrested by town police on Thanksgiving. You also want to maintain an optimal length. You don't want to put an entire excerpt within the title just so you can get that click. Aim for titles to be less than 60 characters to ensure they display fully within those search engine result pages without being cut off. This practice enhances readability and click-through rates. And then use engaging language, like uh, incorporate action words, numbers, or dates to make your titles more compelling. When possible, try to communicate a benefit to the reader as well, like top upcoming concerts uh, this summer, five mistakes that town police say holiday drivers make, or does artist name's latest single have questionable lyrics to you? All right, (laughs) so those things kind of like, Okay, I have to find out what this is about. And so they click on your title to get into that post. So ensure your titles are unique as well. Each page and post should have a distinct title that accurately reflects its content. And uh, this is going to aid search engines in understanding what the page's post purpose is about. It's also going to improve user experience. And then be sure that those titles reflect the page and post content accurately. If your title is misleading, that can lead to high bounce rates. And what I mean by that is somebody clicks on the title, sees that the article is not what the title was about, and they're immediately gone. Well, the search engines see that as a high bounce rate, and then they lower your SEO scores, not just for that post, but your entire website. So ensure that those 
titles align with the actual content to meet users' expectations. Looking to maximize your radio station's digital presence? Skyrocket Radio delivers custom websites and mobile apps built exclusively for radio stations by radio professionals. Our websites engage listeners and drive revenue, while the integrated apps keep your audience connected wherever they are. It's a complete digital solution designed to boost your station's reach and ad sales. To take your station's online experience to the next level, visit skyrocketradio.com. And some tips that you can use to when, you know, when formulating your titles is avoid keyword stuffing. So once you have that keyword in mind, avoid overloading your titles with those keywords because spammers do that. And it also <laughs> deters users and search engines from clicking on those titles just because they're like, okay, this kind of sends the spam radar going like crazy. So I don't want to click on that. So focus on natural language that appeals to all readers. And then utilize your branding wisely when appropriate. And yeah, include the station's name uh, to enhance your brand recognition, especially on the homepage, like, you know, Rocket Daily News, Local Daily News Leader, or um, uh, Launch FM, Town's Greatest Hits from the 80s and 90s. And so a lot of this stuff is automatically done for you on your homepage. Let's say if you have a WordPress website, but there are some uh, platforms out there where you have to in actually include this for the homepage. And then you want to monitor and optimize your titles. Regularly review the title's performance using tools like Google's Search Engine Console. That can be used to identify opportunities for improvement. So see which kinds of titles are being clicked on more than others. You can consider using an SEO plugin if you have a WordPress website like Yoast SEO or All-in-One SEO. These give you recommendations on both your post and your titles to ensure those keywords are done correctly, and they can give you a score and ways to improve all of your posts. So it really doesn't matter if you're creating a news post, a blog post, event, contest, or whatever. By implementing some of these strategies, you can create compelling titles that enhances visibility, attracts more visitors, and ultimately, the goal is to increase revenue and engagement. If this helps you, be sure that you like, subscribe, and be sure to share this content out with uh, your radio colleagues. We so much appreciate that. And uh, need help with your radio station website? Hey, that's what we're here for. Reach out to us at skyrocketradio.com. Have an awesome week online making your radio station website better. We'll see you next time.